Madden <laughs> Orion is currently starring in the Broadway musical Getting the Band Back Together, which is now playing at the Belasco Theater in New York City. In the show, Manu brings together three of his many talents as an actor, singer, and musician while playing the role of Robbie, one of the band's members. Let's take a look at a clip. Everyone put your hands together for Manu Narayan. Do you like to read books on Instagram? I have, I just heard that. Yeah. I'm gonna go home and read one. Yeah. 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 Alice in Wonderland is available on Instagram. Oh, really? I don't know if you've ever read it or heard about it before, but uh, it's on Instagram sounds now. Sounds familiar. Yeah. yeah. You should just ask for all of your scripts to be put into Instagram. Instagram form. Yeah. Yeah. So like a quick way but to learn. Highlight it already yeah. so yeah, exactly. that I can learn it. That'd be right. great. So let's talk about this show. It just debuted. It's getting really great reviews. Yep. Uh, what's it like being a part of this project for you? Um, I've been with it for about 10 years. Uh, we uh, started it, it was a bunch of improv actors who got together in a room and um, came up with the script and the storyline. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of like a Will Ferrell movie mm -hmm. musical. <laughs> I love it. On Broadway, uh, about a rock band, about a guy who goes back to Jersey and gets his rock band back on with his high school uh, bandmates. So it's a lot of fun. The mm -hmm. music's great. I get to play clarinet, saxophone, sing, dance, act. Wow. All of the things I trained to do when <laughs> I was a kid. Yeah. So. It's all being put to good use now, which is Absolutely. great. Absolutely. It's like everything coming together in yeah. one show. So wait, it just debuted though, like recently, like yeah, over like a week ago. Yeah, two Mondays ago. But you're saying 10 years, so this has been a labor of love. Yeah, I, look, getting any show to Broadway is a huge endeavor, mm -hmm. especially when you don't have the, um, uh, a sort of brand name behind it, totally. whether it's Pretty Woman or Shrek or something <laughs> like that, or huge, huge stars. We have Mary Lou Henner who's yeah, been yes. here. She was and just here. Yeah, she's amazing. Um, but other than that, it's all original music. It's uh, an original script. It's not based on anything. So it takes some time. Mm -hmm. And you do a lot of workshops. You do an out-of-town tryout, which we did at George Street Playhouse in New Jersey, New Brunswick. Um, about four years ago, and now we're here on Broadway. Thanks. That's so awesome. It must feel like you've been waiting for this for so long that you're finally on uh, Absolutely. Show on Broadway. Yeah, it feels uh, great. Um, tell us a little more about your role specifically in the show. Yeah, well, I'm, I play Robbie Patel. He's a dermatologist, uh, <laughs> and he plays keyboards He's in the band. Uh, and it's kind of cool because he's a first generation, like I am, mm -hmm. first generation American. I was born in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Delmont, Pennsylvania uh, is where I grew up. Oh, Delmont. Get Woo! Delmont. <laughs> <laughs> um, and uh, yeah, so it's very similar to my story. My parents came from India. Robbie's pa uh, dad came from India. And there is uh, the cultural expectation of following that culture, mm -hmm. uh, which is woven into the script in a funny way. And there is the person who wants to assimilate and be an American. And, all the things that America has to offer, including rock bands. So those are the things that Robbie's struggling with. Definitely. Cool. So what inspired you to get into acting? And also, like, how'd you choose Broadway? Uh, how'd you get into Broadway? <laughs> you know, I'd always been a, a fan of Michael Jackson and stuff growing yeah. up. And yeah. weirdly, in Western Pennsylvania. All four of us <laughs> love yeah. Michael Jackson. Big right? MJ fans. Though. Right, yeah. Huge. Um, and uh, <laughs> I get to do that in the show yeah. every day. Oh, really? Uh -huh, do you yeah. grab your crotch? I don't. They <laughs> sanitize oh. that. They you sanitize should. That. You, should. you can do Tonight. it in the show if you want right you now. You can do it right, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. That was very good. Thank you. You'd be proud of that. Thank you. <laughs> we'll uh, gif that for you. Yeah. <laughs> well, so. We'll blast that. Yeah. That'd be great. Um, uh, but I grew up listening to country and, country and western music as well. Okay. So I love Willie Nelson. I mean, he's a, a hero of mine. Um, and uh, I had always wanted to be on stage. I've always been gregarious, talking to people. Um, and my parents really fostered a support and love mm -hmm. of the arts in me and got me to the lessons that I needed to go to, and here I am. Yeah. What instruments do you play again? Saxophone, uh, clarinet, um, keyboards in the show, so, yeah. Uh -huh. And you talked to your character as a first generation um, Indian American like you are, and also you were in Bombay Dreams, which was yeah. the first all South Asian cast on Broadway. So how important do you use representation on Broadway in particular? It's huge. Again, growing up in uh, Pittsburgh, at the time I did, 
There was nobody like me on TV. You just mentioned Big Bang Theory. Now mm -hmm. Kunal's on Big Bang, mm -hmm. yeah. Bang Theory. So there are people like me or like us represented on major um, TV shows or movies or things like that here. But when I was growing up, there wasn't. So Bombay Dreams really, to me, was one of the first things in a wave of things that now we're seeing the fruition right. of. Uh, and every night on stage, you know, being the lead of that show and both celebrating Broadway and musicals, mm -hmm. but also celebrating our culture, parts of our culture and South Asian culture on stage and seeing young kids who were like me, maybe eight or nine South Asian kids, looking up with wonder and seeing themselves reflected on stage and then looking out into the audience and seeing that most of the people in the audience were not like them. Right. Mm -hmm. They were the majority Americans, mm -hmm. whether they were white, black, but they were not first generation Americans and loving the show. I think that was a really, really important moment for me and also culturally for South Asians in this yeah. country. I think it's also, you're playing multi-dimensional characters. You're not playing a stereotype. And I read a, an interview with you once and you, you said the challenge is seeing yourself first and then making other people see that. So you yeah. don't have to fit inside a box. No, that, I mean, that's the truth, right? Like, uh, as, an act, as actors, we're always forced into boxes, whether that's by our agents, whether that's by what the choices that are given to us, um, who hires us. But the real challenge as actors, I think, for any of us, no matter what we look like, because when you're the leading man type, blonde-haired, blue-eyed, you still are put in a box. Mm -hmm. So how do you keep yourself outside of that box? It's only through your imagination and tenacity and making sure that you see yourself as others do, but also beyond what others see you as yeah, and that. strive for something else. <laughs> Um, beyond the theater, you've been in film, TV, The Love Guru, Nurse Jackie, <laughs> Grey's Anatomy. Um, I'm curious how you compare the two and what you sort of see in uh, you know, your future, for your future projects. Um, it's acting, if you talk to actors, acting is yeah. similar whether you're on stage or whether you're in a, a film set or a TV set. But the culture around that is different, right? Um, a TV set, everything kind of goes very quickly. Uh, and especially if you're coming in as a guest star, right. you sort of have to fit in to these long-running shows like Law & Order SVU or Nurse Jackie or, and do your job very quickly and then move on. So it can be, for me, stressful, right. a TV show. Yeah. A movie, on the other hand, when I was in The Love Guru and I was there from the you know, pre-production through the last shot, I was the last shot, so I was there right. the entire time. That is much more like doing a, a play or a musical because you're there and you create a especially if you're on location, you have a group of people who are all there doing the same thing. So in that way, the culture is similar. I love doing films. Yeah. Um, it's so much fun. Yeah. It's a little slower paced. You can take your time. Um, the acting is satisfying, as is doing stage. I love doing stage yeah. as well. What I'd love to do, I mean, I'm right now currently on hiatus on a Bollywood movie. Uh -huh. um, called Sabash Naidu or uh, Sabash Kundu, depending on which language you <laughs> see the movie in. It's in three languages. Amazing. Um, with the great Kamal Hassan mm -hmm. in uh, uh, India. So we're waiting to start shooting that again. That'll be a huge, huge thing, because um, one billion people, yeah. two billion eyeballs on that will be amazing. <laughs> um, and then hopefully get my own TV show. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Put that out there. Yeah, yeah right? Yeah. Why not? Why not? Why not? Huh? And, and, yeah. and, and then star on Broadway again. I mean, like that, this is a dream come true. The, um, when you're on Broadway, I'm always curious about like the schedule of it. Yeah. So how many shows a week is that? We're doing eight shows a week. Okay, so that's eight shows a week. Is that uh, seven days a week? Or? It's six days a week, so we okay. get one day off. Mm -hmm. um, but the, to do a Broadway musical, I don't think many people know this, you're singing live every show. Mm -hmm. You're dancing live every show. Um, you are acting, and then on the days off, you do press stuff uh, like this to promote yeah. the show. Right. Um, and it's a lot of fun, and our show especially is amazing because it's a rock musical, so we're like rocking out, and the audiences are loving it, they're laughing. It's, I would say it's the funniest show on Broadway uh -huh. right now. Um, people keep saying how their cheeks hurt when they're done watching the show. Uh, but for us, it's very grueling. Like, I've been dealing with bronchitis. Mm -hmm. But you get the medicine, and you have you to keep it. going on. Yeah, I mean, I would be like, I don't really want to do it tonight. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Love your head. But when your paycheck show, comes, like, yeah, you'll be sure. like, no, I should <laughs> probably do it tonight. Um, we actually have a question from your, one of your cast members, JT. Oh, yeah. He wants to <laughs> So who won the last Super Bowl between the Steelers and the Cowboys? <laughs> and we're supposed to look at your face when you answer this. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, he's a jerk. <laughs> it 
was not the Steelers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you that's want, hilarious. You want us to ask that? Yeah, I knew it was going to be about sports. <laughs> yeah. he, he texted me. I think me the that. hashtag was the boys, the boys the, getting Broadway. the band back together love sports. Yes. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Broadway boys who love yeah, sports. Yeah, Broadway boys who love sports. Yeah, there's a bunch of. Cowboy fans and oh, really? casts I've been in before, yes. Uh, oh, that's funny. You guys are on Broadway, so you need to constantly amp each other up. <laughs> yeah. Men. Yes, yeah, right, 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 right. right. I exactly. love that. Yeah. I love how sports infiltrating Broadway. That's actually a great um, storyline to this whole interview. Yeah, and we totally have a fantasy yeah. football league starting up. So I Amazing. can't wait. Our that's draft fantastic. is like in two weeks. Can that's I join? Awesome. Can I join it? You want to? Yeah, no. <laughs> Why not? That'll be fun. I don't really like sports. We're not big sports people. Yeah, we're really like, no, it's like sharing <laughs> mixed messages. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. I'm fun. Well, <laughs> Thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you so much. Thank you guys. Thank you.